All right, uh, episode nine. We're still grinding it out. I think today I'm going to get Admiral Taylor on everybody. And that'll be the goal. Hopefully, I think the only one I have left uh, to get to level three is D. So, for now, we're going to check the bank and go from there. Let me know if you guys think these are useful or not useful or don't really care. You're just putting it on to see what happens. Always intrigued. All right, check that mailbox. Some of our cards have all been sold. Some of them, oh, all the ones that we had listed sold. So we're going to jump in here. Auctioneer. That token price is not good. And check out our herbs. There's one for 150. 18 of them. That's rough. Buy it for now. <clears throat> Huge ogre cash. I also want to check the frozen. Frozen arms, I think. Ah. Uh, Should be less than a thousand, more than a couple hundred. Looks like there might not be any for sale. I was looking for the thing that you instantly upgrade to uh, like 30 levels or something, 50 levels. hero there it is frozen arms of a hero yeah so 500 eh, I'm not really worried about it right now I just want to kind of see where it was all right auctioning run it post them all up for sale so we got no herbs and no ceruleum so that kind of stinks it is what it is Exit. Log out. Auction house. Oh, we just bought a few. So let's start with A. I should start from the bottom, but it just makes it easier on a new VOD to start from the, the top. Really all we got here because I did the uh, our, our buildings. Our buildings got upgraded. But we're going to do our mission table just to take a peek. We're going to just right click those and let them fly again. Oh, let's get these macros. I got to add one. Well, let's do this. I like to keep it uniform. Then this button. Put our garrison. Shows where we're at. Lunar Fire. Bam! Three days, 18 hours ago. So. That's what we want to make sure that we're staying on top of is those. So. Alright. Got a bunch of upgrades. We got about 492 garrison resources. That should be super small. Yeah, quick 83. Ooh, hitting the tree. There we go. Upgraded. Again, like later on, it's going to be much nicer because you want to do most of this. Once once it gets up, it's up. Um, banker. That's where we pick up all these random things off the ground. Might as well make our way this way. Uh, the bank eventually you want so you can have your bank, but also the guild bank. 
Um, that's how I move my loot around. Usually once they fix the issue, apparently it is a known issue. We'll see. Grab those while we're here. Again, our daily one clicks are, I believe, on cooldown. Uh, three hours cooldown remaining. Cool, so now we have our bank. Not that I'm gonna use it. Really, we just want that to be able to upgrade to a level three to get more work orders. We'll show you here in a minute. Let's get this guy. Done. Cool. Alright, everybody's upgraded. Doing what they're supposed to do. Um, let's see if we can make some cards. We can. Always make the cards when you can out of the gate. Oh, just to get your inscription up higher. That way your daily one clicks can max out sooner than later. Cool beans, we're getting closer. It's awesome that you can't see my character right now. I love it. All right, Town Hall is now three, Lunar Fall in. We would like to get up to three eventually, unlocks particularly lucrative garrison resource missions. We want garrison resources. Why do we want them? Because every day someone comes and we can, here it is right here, trading post. We can, a merchant shows up. So basically you can take garrison resources, turn them into herbs, herbs turn into ceruleum for our daily one clicks. Trading post can stay a level one. Those two things do not matter. Lunar fall, however, we do want to upgrade. Let's roll around here. Um, again, this one is the bunker. Double our chances for rewards. However, we also want level two eventually. Uh, opens up work orders for armor enhancements and all those things. Um, you need it eventually so you can get your your garrison followers uh gear i don't think this is necessary for a while because you can't gear them until they're max level anyway storehouse you want to get to level three they're at the bottom you get to have more work orders so that means we would we could just literally log in double click here and then log out we wouldn't have to go collect this for like five six days that's already level three again trading post we're back at it it's going to stay level one our barracks, um, you just kind of leave it at one. It was you had to do it anyway. Uh, you could get to level three, but for us and what we're doing here, which is basically we're just we're gonna use the end to get our followers for extreme scavenger. Uh, we're not gonna need five more followers for a while. So with that being said, the only thing that we could probably worry about upgrading right now would be the storehouse, uh, so that we could eventually get more work orders. And uh, Lunar Fall in. So, one, one, three, 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 and this eventually just stays a one. Yeah. Three, two, three, three, one, one. Cool. Um, and then was this? This is one of the small ones. So I know there's there can be money made in tailoring. For some reason, the hex weave bags sell. I don't know why, but it's only like 100, 200 gold, maybe 100 gold per bag profit. Um, this would be good too, because then you get crates and bags, and you get some mats out of it i just don't think it's worth the effort it takes to to go and do it because it's a whole slew of quests 
this is trash. So that's why I feel like it just depends on if you're going to go put it because you have to have tailoring to make the bags. So let's go ahead and grab the blueprints. We want to upgrade storehouse to two. And we're going to do lunar fall into three. If we have enough. Storehouse to two. Honestly, we might as well buy a uh, storehouse three now just so we have it because we're already standing here and looter fall in is three as well. All right, two. Yep. We're going to have to have them anyway. wonder if it's going to let me learn them all. Nope, not ready yet. All right, cool. Storehouse, let's upgrade that. We have enough mats. Oh, uh, it would have let me click it. Upgrade. Oh, uh, we don't have enough uh, resources. So, is our ins? Yeah, so let's go get those garrison resources over there um, on the west side of the map. Uh, we're going to click this. Hopefully it'll take while we're trying to hurt and everything. Set our waypoint. I know I gotta head west, so. It didn't take, that's okay though. It did, it just didn't show up here. Ah, get out of there. Cygor. Keep that down on the bottom screen. There it go. It just took a second. We're up and running, though. Kill these three bad boys. We'll be able to go upgrade our garrison and be good to go. Or upgrade our one building and then we're gonna log out and go to the next one because this guy already has Admiral Taylor And that's kind of the goal for today is Admiral Taylor. I think I shouldn't say today. That's kind of misleading The goal for this episode Pow. I think if I had a way, even if it was a one time, to make a 5k or something for the ogre cash, there's a chance one of these things wouldn't be worth it, but man, 5k, I mean, especially if you're, you're doing a bunch of more than one character at a time, like 5k across multiple characters, that can get very expensive, real quick. All right, we're back at the garrison. Let's go do this thing. Hit that upgrade button. We had enough resources now. And now we're cooking with the vinegar. Uh, we could KD it and mail these things. Again, let me, uh, while I'm thinking about it, um, we don't need to mail the herbs. Crashing, thrashing, groups, uh, pets, t mog herbs. Let's add it. Toys, nope. Uh, we're going to drop that under here for now. Crashing, thrashing, let's go. Um, pet 
account bound. Add that. We're going to put this here. It's account alien operation. Add a new one. Create new enter player name. Mucho dinero on Sen Jin. Enter. Mucho. That's on my other uh, account. Or on, yeah, whatever. Toys. Cha-ching. Add. All right, let's see if it'll mail. Yeah, so I put all my pet stuff on one character. That way I know where it's all at. Um, if I know where it's at, then when I need to upgrade pets and stuff. I have a, quite a quite a stellar pet team, if I do say so myself. I don't know if anybody else is into that, but I enjoy the pet battle from time to time. I've been known to level up some actual characters via the pet battles. So, alright, this guy's good. Let's figure out, there should be a person here. Uh, one thing I'm doing is making sure that my scrap is not character specific. That way, stuff like this, we don't need these. Um, her stone, we don't need that either. Alright, let's log out. And let's move to the next one. Ah, oh, I want to make sure he has Admiral Taylor. Hold on. I'm 98% certain that's who I did it on was A. So let's run it back. A quick log in, log out. But it'll make me feel better. Ah, oh, we quickly just go here. Admiral Taylor is there. So again, real quick, I want to say is uh, Garrison's followers. See, so yeah, they're 32, 31. Until they hit 40, they can't get gear anyway, so. All right, let's go to B. Again, this should be fairly small. Um, no building upgrades, so that's a sad face, but that's okay. It's all right. Let's go ahead and check the... Oh, come on. The only reason I'm grabbing these now is so I can get whatever war paints I can get. Um, yeah, he definitely doesn't have Admiral Taylor. What are we doing on mats? 136, that's why. Um... Ooh, come in here, make all five. Get that inscription level up. All right. We definitely need resources to get, get anywhere. Again, uh, this isn't even level 3 yet, so we definitely need some resources. We have the inn, and we need trading post. Let's just let, that's only gold, it doesn't cost any resources, so let's get that building up. And then the same, what do we got? We have a barracks already, we need the bunker. Only 150, which we don't have yet, so garrison Reese. oh, maybe we'll get, nope. I thought maybe one of our missions would have been garrison resources, that'd been nice. That's alright, here we go. Send it. Um, Admiral Taylor is one thing that we need. And we also need... Resources. So, let's see her stone. Yep. Because I know I did the... Um, elites already uh, about 12 hours ago on a few of these guys, but there's no way to actually know who I exactly have done them on. Again, let's mount up and we're heading west. Uh, hopefully they'll be spawned. I guess I didn't think that through when I hit that hearthstone. 
Because in reality, we should just be going to Spires of Iraq. At this point. Oh, I'm knocking out this quest line. I should have came here after. That's all right. Can't win them all. Um, there's a quest somewhere over here. So for now, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna at least. I mean, I'm already over here. I might as well check. Getting all turned around and stuff. Oh, there's one. Two. Alright, so they did spawn already. That's pretty cool. I got lucky. Especially because this guy desperately needs resources. Pretty thin. Two thirty five so far. Ah, uh, three forty eight. Pretty good. All right, so it's definitely saying to use her her stone. Unfortunately, it's a 20 minute cooldown, but that's okay. We'll figure it out one way or another. All right. The navigation does not like, doesn't work so good when you're in the garrison, this little pointer here. Here we go. All right, so when you get over there, somewhere over there is definitely our, not that thing. History, none of those. Um, so we'd say lovely Trainor Spires of Iraq. Let's see what that says. Oh, that'll be super unfortunate if I got to talk to that guy. If anyone has a solution for the freaking lag that I continue to experience. Let me know. Track trivial quests. Well, I'm not going to lie. Sounds like no matter what, we're going to need to run back. Oh, unless this here. Here we are. Ooh, glad I saw that.
That's super loud. There we go. Now we're all set. Now we're cooking with the vinegar. See, it's kind of upsetting because I would love to have the... Oh, I guess we're mages. I was going to say, I'd love to have the guild tabard on because if I'm anything but a mage, I'm always trying to get the uh, Orgrimmar tabards. So... Guess we're just going to evade that one. Got it. And doing these trivial quests usually uh, help me out with that process, but not a big deal. Because we're a mage. And when you are a mage, you can just teleport and portal. So. Not worried about that loot. More worried about the time. Let all of that happen. Little auto turret in is super nice. Saves so much time. I remember when I got about here, I was super excited, like, oh, that was quick, that was easy, oh, I got more to do. Check out that guy real quick. Uncheck the box. Oh, they want me to grab a request. <clears throat> Whoops. Look at these little things. Killing parts easy. <coughs> oh, yeah, this is the one where we get to stand here for five, ten minutes. I'm not sidetracked, you are. One of these days I'm going to go through that stupid satchel thing and see if it actually helps.
Are we good? Alright, we're good now. Cool. Collect two more of those things on the ground. Meanwhile, we're still killing these bad guys. What a nice little shield there. Man, they sure spread these bad boys out. Oh, right into the fence. Rookie mistake. Little repair change. Back out we go. We can actually use the, uh, that bad boy, Shadow of Sight. Click on this. Ah, that's five gold, better than nothing, eh? Load our team, do a quick pet battle, hit the space bar a bunch. One down, two to go. I love this Chrominius. Chrominius. I mean, he's dead now, but he had that all pet damage, plus he had a big surge button. I feel like he's super strong. Finish him. Kind of, oh, he's going to come back to life, and then we'll use the old explode, I bet. Watch. Give that pet in the wings max XP. 5,500. Let's go. Plus, I got 4,700. All right. Slight dude detour. We're back.
All right. I had to write an email real quick. We're back, though. All right. Uh, do, do, do. Here you are. Hey, just in case. Uh, smuggler's Den. Yeah, whatever. Oh, we didn't skip that one, though. I can't skip it. It won't escape. Full beans. Do, do, enter this building. Uh, let's skip that. Wait, Admiral Taylor. Nah, yeah, that's what it is. Talk to Jasper. That's what it is. Once we get here, we just move on with life. That Luterang, man. Findle's Luterang. Super nice. Trying to find places where there is more than just one guy standing there. Like this. Oh, and this is the up and down, up and down. Go upstairs. Sure thing. You have some boss. Click. Oh, wait. There we go. Go down the stairs. Let's get that silly safari hat off. Oh, we're almost downstairs. There we go. Hey. Imagine if they could have gave me cannonballs and I didn't just had to pick them all up off the ground. Imagine. Price you gotta pay to do the business. That's pretty cool. Skies if you go purple. That's a good little spot. Oh yeah, we gotta get the cannon. Almost forgot the cannon. Ooh, I thought I could loot. 
from a mounted position. You would need the uh, stable for that, I think. Oh, oh. There we are. Watch the dialogue. Yes, I'm boss. This is why I like having split screens. It's this, literally right here. Because I don't want to watch the dialogue. I want to be playing a video game. I don't care for lore. I'm not a big lore guy. I don't. Doesn't. It's not for me. I know that. Some people enjoy lore. I don't. If I want to watch. Want it, Want lore? I'll watch a movie. Something happened, because something isn't happening. Alright, it looks like it's getting more vicious, right? There it is. Kill both of you. Close. Hey, and we got on blue. Let's go. Not that it matters, though. Because he's not going on missions. Awesome. Um, Who's this? This is B. I think he already did the boss. I think we're gonna fly over just in case just in case I'm pretty sure he did but we're gonna make sure I like resources um, to the west. Pin it. Fly it. Let's go. Admiral Taylor has been achieved. That's pretty much all we got to do here. And again, like I said, the good thing here is you only do Admiral Taylor once. I mean, that's the same with the uh, trading post or whatever it is. The salvage yard. I just don't think if you have salvage yard, you're making say 100 gold a day and that's where i'm gonna look at the alchemy and transmuting living steel so because it is a star i'm pretty certain i can loot him that means i haven't looted him correct oh i got 200 garrison resources or was this the one in episode eight where he was the only one not there No. Uh, remember um, early on when I was doing this, these guys got smacked towards the 10, 11 a.m. Eastern time. He's not there either. Yeah, that's wild. So nothing hurt there. At least I got the 200, which is super nice. 200 is quite a bit. So we're going to hurt... Be done. Ba done. Uh, we'll come right here. Let's put Admiral Taylor right up in there. Get him to work. Um, and yeah, so we do have resources to upgrade now. We want this one upgraded. Trading post is already upgrading. Storehouse will eventually get upgraded as well. So let's go with the 
Let's go Lunar Fall in first. Um, mainly because it's going to give us the better missions. All right. That was level three. I think it's only a level one right now. You already know that blueprint. Oh, so let's sell it. Hit too many buttons there. All right, Lunar Fall in. That will give us the good resources for missions. Uh, dang, I can't believe I haven't done the scribe hut yet. That's silly. I should have done that first. What a noob. Uh, and we don't even have enough garrison resources to do it. We already did these guys. An hour and a half from now, we can go do the missions, then we can upgrade it. That's unfortunate. That's all right, though. We got some stuff going. So, next episode, most likely, we'll upgrade that to level 3. For now, I think we're good. I'm satisfied. Let's click this. Um, crossbow also needs to get destroyed. We're cruising right along. The gold, where we're at, 25k out of 60, is going down, down. This guy started, they all started with 15... I think I have to send five from C to D still. Yeah. Um, it's dwindling. Can it be done? I don't know. Because cause making the... Like, you don't make a lot. It's just you make continuous. So we'll see what happens. Um, yep, fresh character. This guy's the one that has too much money. Oh, uh, we don't have enough resources to send missions, so that's cool. Send. D, 5K. Cool. Oh, this is the one, one of them with an herb garden. I'll have to look into it a little bit more. Like I said, if, if I can herb them faster or better or whatever, maybe. Again, we're making our Cards of Omen. That's that's our money. That's what we're doing this. Cards of Omen, and then hopefully eventually we're going to do Alchemy. Which I got nothing going on in my other screen. So it would be Classic. I'm going to go create what I need to do to get Classic and see how much it's going to cost. If I can set it up to a system and make it just like bang, 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 and transmute living steel is profitable, then maybe we do it. Cool. How can I gather these herbs faster? Most people are going to tell me it's not worth it. I'm telling myself it's not worth it. The problem is it's the herbs right now are so expensive. Um, ultimately, that's why you eventually get your... Um, 
Is this the place I'm thinking? Oh no, this is our head hunter. So it should be directly across. Should be right there, I think, is where eventually we'll be. Kind of giving a minute for the big guy to respawn. Yeah, this one. Trading post. It costs just gold, so we're going to drop it in there. This one is the one that costs resources, that, so we're going to wait. On this one, we got nothing, so. Trading post. That's the one. Another option for early on is to establish your trading post and <coughs> you, you can create work orders that you change a drain or material for garrison resources and if there's a day where that material happens to be something super cheap let's go to let me go switch over to somebody who's got that already the, the trading post you can do it super cheap um because i think the ore ore is super cheap um and meat um shopping wad mats yeah or or is super cheap or er, uh, i think leather is super cheap sometimes even the fur is super cheap uh this one doesn't have the trading post ready yet i bet i'm upgrading on everybody All right, uh, trading post. All right, this guy's got it. Let's go take a gander, take a peek, just for show you guys what I'm talking about. Maybe. Is this the wrong? This looks like a barracks. I'll figure out where all these buildings are. Don't you guys worry. This is the first one, right? So we want this number to say 16 or 20. And that's where we would change our resources in for herbs so that we can break them down. And then this guy is what I was ultimately talking about. So if this reagent is something that's really cheap on the auction house, the the ore, the sumptuous fur sometimes, some of that stuff. Then you would create all so you can get some garrison resources built up. Changes every day. So honestly, I'll start coming back. I'll take a peek at that just to get some garrison resources built up for now. You're basically buying your garrison resources in a way. Yeah, I think you have to level up your original alchemy to 300. All right, we showed you that. Let's get back to work. Ron C. Doing the thing, he's got the resources. That dude actually should be respawned by now. Um, I'm not taking a 25%. Yeah, I am. It only cost me 20 resources. All right. We've made our cards. We've collected our resources. Our buildings are going.
We either go straight to Admiral Taylor or I try and do a couple of the elites real quick to try and get some more mats. I think we go for mats first. And then we, we do Admiral Taylor, so. Only because uh, Admiral Taylor is not on a daily cooldown. Mats are resources. I should I should call them resources, but you guys understand. Let's see where we're at with this. We're at about an hour, so let's let's try and get some resources. We're gonna end this episode itself. I'm probably gonna start. Now nah, we might just keep going. Make it a long one. Make it a long one, cause why stop and just just to start a new episode? Cause I'm gonna keep it going. Just keep it rolling this time. Make a long one. Come on, big guy, be there. Not looking good. Oh, he is there. Ah, but you see how he's not a star on the mini-map? That means killing him will do me nothing as far as looting. So I must have already done at least that one. We're going to just do a quick flyby. I've done that one. Normally I would just get out of here, but... It's been so wonky lately. So I'm going to hearth right after this. Yup. Alright. Oop. We're going to go kill those guys up in the top left. Classic zero. All right. It's a big list of mats to buy to level up uh, classic. I mean, especially when you're talking about going all the way to 300. But I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to try and do it. I want to see what the price is. Uh, obviously, first, I'm going to check auction houses to make sure that Transmute living steel. I mean, that's the only reason I'm doing it to give me another one click when I log in so I could just spam this one and then spam another one and make a little bit more gold. So. I almost detour too far off. There's our first guy. And he's a star, so let's get him. Um, and then I bet it's going to tell us to garrison. If I zoom out, not Talador. Here we go. Spires of Iraq. We want to go right there.
kind of frustrating it didn't update. I know I had to be here. There it goes. We're going to fly that way. There we go. Hmm. All right, we're making myself a little shopping list. We're going to see how expensive she is. Don't take a minute, but we'll get there. So we would say spires of leveling. Click it. There we are. Too far. They made those stairs super finicky, I feel. Um, let's put this thing right there. Turn that bad boy in. That's silly evade. Silly evade. Y'all can shove off. I really should just be mounting up on like the smallest freaking mount I got. Just because trying to like shoot through these freaking holes, man. Oh, too far. Find some random. Nice little narrow mount. There we go. Oh, we forgot to loot it. Nice little narrow, narrow nuggy.
I forgetting it twice again. Woo! He wasn't clicking a button there for a minute. more of these illusion charms. Get out of here, bro. Well, that was weird. Where's my button? Go invisible. Little bit of gold. Literally a little bit. My goodness, man. There just aren't very many of these things.
Bro! <laughs> Just waiting for homeboy. He was just taking his time. So during my alchemy, like, grind, if you will, my alchemy leveling up is what I really should call it. I realized there is one, like, mat that is still super expensive. And that is gold, gold thorn. That thing is not cheap, my guys. That is probably the one thing that's going to make it, like, that makes it rough. Because, like, the, the leveling guide requires or requests 30 of them. Um, And I want to say they're, like, 300. No, they're 34. 34, I lied. But still, I mean, it's, it's the expensive part. So... I think I'm going to give the first alchemy guy, I'm going to put like 50k on him. And I'll buy, I created a, a list on Auctionator to buy all of the mats. And I'm going to start with 20, maybe 30k, whatever I feel like it's going to take. And then we're going to, I'm going to see how much we end up with afterwards. Maybe I do it over here so you guys can see it. It would be kind of cool to see. Um, that should be about it, almost. Um, and then we can do Admiral Taylor. Um, this thing. Build outpost. All right, give me one minute. So I think what we're going to do is, I think this is the end. Nope, it's over here. We're going to go in the end. We're going to log out for a quick second. I'm going to show you guys the alchemy thing, and I'm going to use the bathroom. We're gonna, I want to see, obviously, prices are going to be a little bit different based on your server, but mats that stack are universal. So let's go Sinjin. Hopefully, one of these guys has some money. Usually, this guy does. So I'm going to log in, and I will be right back in a sec. All right. Um do 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 do. How much gold? All right, we got 220. We don't have alchemy though. All right, let's see who I know these guys do. Let's check Panda Express. Yeah, it'd be cool if I could get this thing into TSM. The problem is TSM, like to make that as a purchase list, shopping list, I, uh, I'm not very well versed in that. All right, so we do have Alchemy here. Oh, classic. So he's already there. This is what you want it to look like. Um, 
not specialization. You would just pull up Alchemy Professions Transmute Master. That's what you're going for. So this is a bad example. If he has gold, he does. I'm actually going to run him <laughs> while you guys are here real quick. <laughs> I don't want to forget. I want to go do his transmute. My bad. I know this is off. I apologize. <laughs> Taking a pause from the garrison thing for a sec. Let's go grab some uh, trillium. Shopping. Trillium, bars, super cheap today. I'm just going to buy a quick 50. So yeah, so it's six bars, make a living steel. Uh, search. Profits, 100 gold. Every day, click, click. And that definitely does not take into the fact of once in a while you're going to get the transmution, transmute mastery. Uh, let me just pull that up real quick, show you guys what I'm talking about. Transmute Mastery allows two great results when transmuting. Once in a while, you'll get a double on transmute instead of one. Of course, it wasn't now, but you get the idea. Uh, let me log out of this guy. Alchemy is good. Gold is good. Let's log out for a second. I want to just check it out. RD. One of these guys, I'm going to have to give some gold, and then we're going to check the cost. See how much it costs real quick. Sidetrack. I don't have ADD. You do. He doesn't have it. Cool. We come down here. We say classic. One of zero. Cool. Does he have gold? Not really. Let's see if we can get it for less. Uh, let's send him some gold, actually. Uh, RD is who we're going for. Um, and I actually prefer the other auction house. It's easier to get to. So I'm just going to get him over here. Uh, we won't even have to log out. I'm just going to send it for my alt. We're going to go here. Invincible. RD. Send them 50,000 gold. Send. All right. Starting total calculator 58,228.55. That's what we're starting with. And then we'll hit a minus. Once we're done. And we will see how much gold we have. Um, we'll obviously also need to buy some crystal vials, which can be purchased, I believe, just about anywhere. This guy might even sell some. There we are. Let's just buy 300 of these. I don't know if we need more. I don't know if we need less. All right. This is what I've done. Shopping. Um, boop. Multi box screen, and we will say export just the vanilla majig, and we will say import, paste, import vanilla, and it has the quantities that we also need. So now we click it once, it's going to say the quantity. I'll make sure the prices aren't silly. We'll buy it. We're just going to go right down the list. Prices aren't too bad. As far as difference, like I don't know what the prices are supposed to be, but I don't want to say six and then like 50. Total price is a good one. That was strangle keep. Moving down. See, so we're not getting too bad. Uh, 
Uh, King's Blood. This is the expensive one. And it's only a thousand. That's ten days. Gold Thorn. It's ten days worth of daily clicks. Before you're going to make it. But, like my friend says, just to do gaming, he says, but you can leave and come back and the profits are still going to be there if you come back. Groom's blood. Ooh, that one's pretty bad too. Dream foil. Mountain and ice cap. All right, we've learned that. Now let's pull out the guide. Uh, we'll actually pull up the mailbox too. Open all that stuff. Click here to load the guide and we will say alchemy. Professions, alchemy, leveling. It's just right here, one to 100 or one to 300. We have the, f oh, it says we still need 40 more. <laughs> There we go. Open her up. Hopefully it's going to have me do the same thing as the, uh, was it wow-professions.com? Minor. Let me look. Lesser. Elixir of Wisdom. Yep. Healing Potion. Lesser Mana. Yep. The next he goes is greater. Greater healing. Mana potion. Yup. Um, elixir of agility. Yeah, greater defense. Superior healing. I just want to make sure it's the same. Greater intellect. Demon. Sages, Major Healing, and Purification. All right. Um, start of the guide. There we go. All right. Eventually, we'll also need to get next to the trainer. Uh, I don't know if he's only an Orgrimmar or what, but... Classic. Minor. Create. We're getting to level 60. Sidetrack. Detour. So far... Uh, I'm going to open up another calculator. I'm going to copy that number. I'm going to do a so far total. Well, I could even do a quick spreadsheet number thing. Yeah, we'll do a quick spreadsheet. So our starting total is 50, oops, 58228.55. Current total is 51996.95, which is equals that minus that. Enter. So far, we've spent 6,200 gold, <laughs> which to profit that back will take two months. Ish. That, but that's two months if you never hit a, a proc on your transmute mastery. But again, after two months, every day is profit. So, take it for what it's worth, for what it's at, for what it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Bit of a different different recording i mean i guess we we have the math now um outside of there the only other thing is you have to learn um you do have to learn the recipes 
but that's not bad at all. So I'm going to let this finish. I'll come back to this guy when I'm done with Admiral Taylor and we'll call it a stream. But now you guys know it's about just over 6K. It was for me to, to get this, uh, to level it all the way up. Um, yeah, like I said, it's going to tell me to go to Org to go to the Alchemy Trainer. Um, it was about 6K for me to level level up all the way. Um, just over 6K. It'll take less than two months to get that money back. And then, like I said, after that, it'll always be profit. So, is it worth it? I don't know. Do you have 6K laying around that you're willing to part ways with? You'll make it back. Living still is not going anywhere. You, you, I mean, you could do living st rather. Okay, I lied. Is the 6K worth transmute mastery? You don't need transmute mastery to do living steel. I just think that it, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. What's the point of doing? doing it if you're not going to do it so you can actually it costs more than that because you got to go do your alchemy leveling up in pandaria that's super inexpensive so 6k to get transmute mastery up to you if it's worth it or not all right let's go finish admiral taylor and then we're gonna hit the o oops wrong button hit the pause button hit the stop Hit the old stop after that, because we're cruising right along. We're we're deep. We're an hour and a half in, so let's finish Admiral Taylor. It should take maybe another 10 minutes or so. And then uh, we'll, we'll be done with this one for now. The range on this is way more than I thought. I mean, he's smacking that, dude. Like, that is pretty long range. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Sure. I'm not focused. You are. All right. 
There we go. Silly dog. Keep pulling that W key. Ooh, the one I do not enjoy. All those cannonballs. Cannonball! I wonder though, like if you could, if you were doing multiple accounts, not just one account rather, um, if you could do these quests together, that would make it a little bit better if you're really trying to farm it up. I might try that eventually. Um, but at the same time, you got to pace yourself with how much you're doing garrisons and stuff. But I mean, if I'm in a multi-box anyway. And that's the same with, like, the resources from the bosses, from the elites. I don't know why I call them bosses, but the elites. I mean, <laughs> you just sandstorm Drake that stuff, man. And, I mean, you could... If, if you already are paying for two accounts at once, like... Why not jump on a sandstorm Drake and build up two garrisons at the same time, you know? Oh, this is the one where we gotta wait for homeboy. And cutscenes and all that good stuff. We're almost there. Cool. That's alright, I can focus over here now on the other uh, screen. I wonder if they fixed the guild charter thing. Now it's just a bunch of quest turning, running around. All right, uh, leave guild. Some guy just paid me a hundred gold to sign his charter. Still can't right click it. That's all right. Hey, another level up. Cool. So we got him. We're going to turn this in just because we can. Garrison Hearthstone, 1026. Looking good on the clock. We're going to go back to the garrison. We're going to sign this guy. And we're call it right there. Just so we don't forget anything. Daily one clicks are on cooldown. Description, all the good stuff. Slap him where he needs to go. Bada boom, bada bing. Granting a unique bonus. Let the cheddar come in. Um, I might even, I think by the time we get on the next stream, <clears throat> I'm going to do the math for living steel by itself without transmute mastery. Um, and we'll have the numbers for that. Gee golly. The honies on that lady. All right. Appreciate you guys. Keep watching. Leave some feedback if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, stuff like that. So appreciate you. Peace.